right guys so her crate and her bed and her toy came in i believe so i will open these up and show you guys what it looks like when it's done i was able to assemble it it was pretty easy now from the instructions the handle is just exactly how i did it you literally just like hook it onto this and that's it and i don't like that because i don't know if you guys can tell but there's no like lock on this you can't make sure this is secure i don't know i don't love it so i don't know but most likely i'll never have to take her in the cage with me i don't see why i would have to do that that's a very big cage and then also this part i believe goes in the back of it over there uh i don't see why that's necessary but i will just i'll just keep that for spare and if i see her somehow getting out then i'll put it back there but i don't think I don't know what that's for exactly, but I guess maybe extra security, I don't know. The lock is pretty nice, it's not an easy lock for her. It's really not easy for her to get out, but I like it, it's 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 bigger than I thought it was it would be, so. Okay, here is her bed, it is gray, and it has little paws. Perfect, fits nicely looks comfortable and that is fighter right there lovely last but not least we got her little comfort toy oh and her and her puppy bites how could i forget i did get her some puppy bites so this is the toy that i got her snuggle puppy it was a very expensive puppy okay so this is a toy you can get different colors. I picked this one. Um, I try to see which one's cheaper, but they're literally all the same price. So pick whichever you like best. So these are the directions of the heart. I did see the comments, and a lot of people were saying that they didn't like that you had to press this button. And they said that when it was late at night, you had to like basically do surgery on the thing and open it up and find the heart for it to for it to turn on so that's annoying i wish you could just like press the heart down and that way it would work but it's not so i didn't know and i unscrewed this but the first heart comes with the batteries already in there so whenever you're ready to change it obviously open these up and change the batteries press the button for it to turn it on and then press the button five seconds for you to turn it off and it stays on for eight hours or i believe um it says push and hold for five seconds for continuous use so and then you can also use the heating pad that it comes with i guess to keep your puppy warm and you know make it a little more com comforting to be in the cage and be in there with her little bestie so i'm not gonna use this right now because it's the summer and it's really really hot so but this is always an option and you can always buy more it lasts 24 hours and obviously once you open it up you have to like you have to let it run it's not like you can use this for a year or something no it's only 24 hours so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a little heart in here and i like that it's hard for you to open it that way i don't have to worry about her getting into the heart oh she's I hope she's not going in there to poop because that would be horrible but looks like she's liking it so far she went in there on her own oh she's there to destroy the bed awesome so i put the heart in there and i'm gonna put her in there with her see what she does look spider look And then to get her acquainted with the cage, I'm going to start putting treats in. I'm not going to put her in the cage today, but I will start putting treats in there for her to know, like, hey, this is a good place. You're going to like this place. It's a good place, not a bad place. All right, guys, so I'm about to feed her and to kind of get her in the habit of eating in there and making it a good thing for her to be in there. I want her to remove the bed because she's a very messy eater. 
put her little mat there and i'm preparing her food right now so i know she hates me because she saw me preparing it um so she had oatmeal earlier i know i need to clean this but I'm hoping she eats the rest of this and then i do a little bit of water i'm gonna put more water because that's not enough water the only time she follows me well no she follows me everywhere but not like this <laughs> and then i measure out her food right here It'll tell you how much food you should do, but this one it doesn't, but usually most of them do tell you. Oh, look. There you go. It tells you right there. So make sure you read your kibble bag to know how much they should be eating every day. This is what I give her. She's not a picky eater at all. She eats any type of food you give her, trust me. So I'm going to give her less than the amount because I'm also going to give her this goat milk kefir and this expires next month so we have a lot left i always shake it before i give her some and then i put it on top of this and she loves it she's like hurry up why are you talking to the camera she's like bruh okay i'm sorry sorry spider i know you guys can't see but i'm gonna add it on top of the thing and then what i like to do since there's like a little drop there i always give it to her so she can lick the rest off Oh, she likes it she likes it and i make sure to put her food that goes in the fridge separate to everybody else's food because this is for her not for humans and this is what it looks like and i'm gonna go ahead and put this in her cage she goes crazy so i don't know how we're gonna do this she goes insane for the first day we leave her with the cage open we just want her to get acquainted with the cage and be happy to go in there because that's where she gets food that's where she gets toys all the good positive things happen in the cage so let me show you guys where i keep her stuff i keep her stuff right here because i still haven't bought the little toy area but even if i had um obviously i can't put her food in there so the lighting in here is so bad this is what i like to use to this is like her little perfume her little everyday perfume you can also find this at tj maxx because i actually saw it there so this is the shampoo she uses the first night i got her she smelled like pee so i had to give her a bath i had to okay i had no option so this is the first thing i saw that was available at my grocery store so i just bought it so i really don't know how good it is but i just have it here for backup i got her oats here I have this tea and flick home spray. I have this is the first kibble that I bought her from Pedigree. I don't think I'm gonna use it anymore, so I should just give it away. Um, I have a bunch of treats. I have her salmon skins. I'm telling you, she eats good. Got her organic chicken and brown recipe sticks from Trader Joe's, and she has her freeze dried just chicken for pets then this is for a once in a while stuff because it's a lot of cookies in here and i based on the ingredients i don't think they're the best for her so this is like every once in a while that's why i put them as a block bag so they don't go stale the rest of the stuff that's in here is her lamp her poop bags her leash her two kind of collars toilet paper for whenever she poop i need to get a basket for her because this is just mm -mm. This is just crazy. Do you like it, Spider? She's like, I love it. Give me more. What I do after she finishes eating is I will take away... Oh, she drank all the water. Good. I will take away the bowl just so I don't... I don't know. I don't want to tease her or if there was more water, I don't want to give her more water because she has such a weak bladder. That's what we're doing over here. That's what works over here. Don't judge me. She's playing with her bestie, essentially. <laughs> she's trying to kill her, if you guys can see. She's just biting her poor ear. Oh my goodness. And now she wants to break the cage with her teeth. All right, after my baby eats, now I get to eat. Let me show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works. I know it's dark. I like a dark house. I don't like a light, to be honest with y'all. So I got this. Spider looks like she's interested in this. I don't think she will like it once she finds out it's soap. So I got this white pumpkin. <coughs> spider. And then I got this sweater weather. I love the packaging on this. Very cute. All right, guys. It is the next morning. And I will show you guys what I give Spider for breakfast. Now, every day I do something different. Just because I, I'm a human. So I don't like to eat the same thing every day. So... 
I don't want her eating the same thing every day. So right now I'm giving her half of this banana, but I'm cutting it really, really small. And then I'm gonna give her these blueberries. Now, whenever you get any frozen foods, cause this is frozen, make sure that it doesn't have any other ingredients like sugar. Um, where's the ingredient list? This is the ingredients, just blueberries. Make sure that if you get any, any blueberries from anywhere, and it's just blueberries or as minimal ingredients as possible. I'm gonna put some blueberries in her bowl as well. And she got her water ready. All right, since it is day two, I am going to prepare her, you know, like I told you guys yesterday, put her food in the crate. So I'm gonna grab this and put it over there. She is on a little schedule. So she eats first at nine o'clock. Then she eats at 2 and then she eats later on at 8 o'clock. I'm also going to water the plants. Guys, I skipped yesterday's watering and let me tell you, oh my god. But yeah, I literally didn't water these plants yesterday and they look really bad. I've never seen my bell pepper plant like that. Can you guys see my tomato plant? Oh my god. Do you guys see how big it's gotten? It's gotten so big. It's it's huge. And then these are just the flowers. The flowers right here. And then the flowers right here. Hopefully we can give them some life. They're drinking right now, so that's a good sign. And here's Spider Bean eating a flower. Hey! Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No. Jesus Christ. She would just eat anything. Girl, why would you eat a plant? Anyways, yeah, they're drinking. I'm gonna go inside before she, I don't know, eats the ground. Okay, you guys, another day, another day of me being extra. So, the wired cam for Spider for me to watch her whenever I am out or running errands, whatever the case is, because I feel guilty when I leave her alone, so this way I can check in on her. I can even talk to her on this camera, so. I did set it up already, and I'm only gonna have this on. It is wired. I didn't know that it was wired, but I don't care because that's the only time I'm gonna have it on anyway, so it is a wired camera. And so I will have it here, that way it can watch her from right there. I downloaded the app for this, and you can do an SD card or you can pay for a subscription, it's optional. All right, so this is a live view. Hello. It catches from here all the way over here. So that's pretty good range, that's very good, I like that. I'm gonna get her in the camera. Spider, sit, sit. Good girl, stay, 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 stay. <laughs> Look, if I put it down, she's definitely gonna play with it. Oh no, she's tearing it up. What you doing, hmm? You chasing your tail? 